Hey guys, it has been windy. Gale force warnings up until Saturday evening at 6 p.m. The wind was wreaking havoc. Uh, look at these views here. Thanks to Ron and Robin for allowing us the opportunity to get on over here on their property and get you guys these shots of the of the site. And there's the dolly back in the background, and guys. We started looking around. You know, we saw the 533. Uh, use that temporary channel underneath the south span and get get up river. Uh, it was not in the mix of crane booms today. Well, we found it. Uh, it looks like it's at a coal processing facility. Not sure what's going on there, but 533 was there. We found the Chessie, that's Chesapeake 1000 over at Sparrows Point. That's where the debris is being taken. And now we look at the dolly and we can see uh, some of those McAllister tugs. There were two McAllister tugs on station, and it looked like we had one that kind of maneuvered in and got down there and started started to just maybe push a little bit on the side. Guys, the wind was blowing just straight a beam of the ship, and you can see the by the amount of containers that are up stacked on the deck. There's an incredible amount of surface area there to act as a sail you can look at those anchor lines that are on this side of the ship closest to us and see that there there's a little bit of slack in them but if you look at the ones coming off of the starboard side they are taunt as can be a lot of pressure on the ship uh, from that wind that was blowing today and, and then just straight a beam of the ship really really bad the wind's supposed to be up again tomorrow and this could very well be one of those situations where they're going to get what they can get done as far as safety will allow but you can imagine uh, this kind of wind uh, with these these big cranes and heavy loads is is quite a bit of there's quite a bit of side load that can happen there's a lot that can go wrong under these these wind conditions like this um, so I'm sure that both Don John and Resolve are going to do everything they can as quickly as they can and as safely as they can get that job done. It's going to be a task tomorrow. Um, a lot of uh, just just maneuvering around in a boat. You think about these guys that are out here in, in smaller vessels working around. They're just not very pleasant conditions out there on the Baltimore Harbor today. And when you look at the ship, it almost looks like it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a list to the port side. So kind of be, kind of be watching that. But she looks like she has just a touch of list on it to me. We did catch some pretty interesting video today. Um, so we're going to share that with you. And uh, I think you guys are going to be going to be kind of impressed with what we were able to catch today. And we can see the cranes working over in that mass of debris that was sticking up and also in the back we could see the clam dredger uh, and he's working in there we had a question or two about that what's he doing is he going to be able to get down uh, to 35 i'm sure that the clam digger is working in the areas that he can um, of course he is not going to be able to work directly uh, over those areas that are obviously have uh, that steel structure in it and all that's going to have to be cleared before the before the clam dredge can do any good but you can bet that those guys are working where they can now in this photo right here i want you guys to just keep your eye there right over the middle of uh, just about the middle just to the right of that pier and you can see that piece of metal it's just falling there uh, I think maybe this is actually the first piece of metal I've seen cut 
with a with the crane and being lifted out and you can watch the the crane operator uh, try to get this thing through this maze of of steel beams and and the cross bracing that made up uh, the top structure of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And of course the wind, you can imagine this, it's still, even the, even this piece of metal, this, this piece of metal, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to say maybe 30, 40 feet in length. It's hard, it's hard to really take in the scale of the scene until you're there and can look at it and you know the size of that crane and those piers, those support piers that are there. But you can see that crane kind of swinging off to the left and kind of dangling from it there is a, a good piece of that, that metal girder system. He's gonna swing it on around and we'll actually see it kind of come down as a crane operator lowers that down onto the deck of a barge on the backside of what used to be the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Again, apologize for the shaky nature of the images. Uh, we're working to get better but it is very difficult for us to get smooth images when we're experiencing 40 plus mile an hour gust uh, against, our, against our camera equipment. But I thought this was important enough to show you guys what we had of, of this image. If it's, if it's something you guys really want to see, if there's something out here on the site that you guys uh, are interested in, in, in me trying to pick up, let me know. I'll be happy to try to, try to get some of that uh, video. We're going to be back out for the next couple of days uh, shooting whatever we can. Uh, hopefully the weather will behave itself enough for us to do that. I know it's going to be a challenge for the crews that are on site it was bad enough for us today working on shore i could just imagine what the conditions were actually on the water so coast guard buoy tender on station here and this boat's responsible for maintaining uh, the buoys the beacons day markers all those kind of things along along the waterway and they seem to be out there as a kind of a supply or headquarters ship if you will for the rest of the coast guard operation out there well hey that's going to do it for today guys again i can't thank you enough for the success we've seen here lately a lot of interest here in uh, what's going on in baltimore we're going to continue to try to bring you the stories as we best can we're going to ask you though if you haven't done it yet if you'll click on that subscribe button give us a thumbs up let us know that you like what you see and leave us some comments we like the interaction as always we want to say hey you guys be safe out there